Hello my friend, hopefully you are doing great. In this video session, I'm going to show you how to make an assertion in your test by using the web driver built in uh, Matrix. So what is web driver built in Matrix? If you go to the web driver IO homepage and you go for uh, the API session here, try to navigate to the expect session here. So web driver IO provides us uh, a peel in uh, make sure sometimes we call it something like assertion or verifi uh, verification methods. And most of the things here is for for web, Some, something you see like browser mature. And we also have element mature. Uh, so if you have time, you can scroll down and read all of them. They're very easy. It's very e easy on how to use. So today I'm going to show you a demonstration how to use one of them to make an assertion or verification in your test. And you can practice yourself. Before doing that, I, I would like to create a real page object like in a real project and then we can mm, we can do it in the next video lesson let's try to create a real login uh, page object so um from now on uh from now on we view we view due to login page object here so that's why i'm going to create it like a real page object in a real uh, project. So we already extended the credential form. You see here. So just go back to the credential form first. So what's the credential form? Uh, let me remind you in case you forgot it. So in the login form, we have the login and sign up. So we call the credential form. That's in the email text view and the password text view. That means we can review it in sign up and login screen. So in the credential form, uh, we have a way to screen display. Let's suppress this option because in the, the previous lesson, we already knew how to um, uh, how to create a global weight for from the tech configuration file. So we have way to screen display and we have the email text view, password text view here. So everything looks good, but uh, I want something more of that on the top, not on the top. After the way to screen display, uh, maybe on the top will be easier for, for us to read the code in the class body. I want to introduce some, something like, you see, uh, this is a guest, let me copy, copy on the top here. So this, those guesters return for us the file element on the page, right? But we need to introduce something like the main action, the main interaction method to those element on the screen, because we, most of the time we don't need to to call the, the, the file element from the text script. So let's specify something like you this in the login with method chain here. So we have the input email, we have the input password, and we have a click on login button, right? But we will keep some guest like this and we will reuse for verification purpose. So let's create some main interaction methods first. So we have uh, input email, so we can copy here. Input email and input password. So input email, input password. And for the login bay, we have a login button here, but I want to introduce another uh, method that the click on login button. That means we 
find the login button and then we call the command click here that's it so from now on we view in a page object we will have uh, we will have uh, two things the first thing that the we return the file elements from the page from the screen the second thing that we introduce the main the main methods to interact with that element so in this case you see we are trying to use something like this now we are not going to use something like this we are going to use this dot login button and then dot click you see because this is a gesture so it's view pipe this method's name to be some property of the class the instant that we are going to create here so when you call this dot login button it will it will execute the gesture and the gesture will return for it a file element that's why we can call the click command here so the first thing you you introduce a gesture to return the file element and the second thing you introduce a method a main method to interact with that element okay so uh let's see i'm going to update my mac os uh, um, the last time is failed because i don't have enough uh storage so let's try this time up mm. uh, i need some more spaces okay let's let's do it after this uh video session to to see whether it works okay so we call it the get to uh like element factory in the page and we introduce some main things here that's in the login and we extend the credential form so go back to go back to credential from here let's see we have something like okay before doing anything more i wanna i wanna run the test script and introduce for you how to use the assertion first and then you try to make it more elegant okay so let's go back to the test script that we use for the login or uh, okay let's create a new one where the test script okay test login page okay so create the test case uh test case zero zero five and locking that's it nothing else so in the, this test case we are going to import locking here and we specify a test uh, we call locking function and we have a test block here so verify email test after input or something like that and now uh, we are trying to copy this one okay next time let's try to create a navigation page object and we don't need to copy and paste those things again mm. and then we call login dot uh input email something like toe and then click input password something like dot 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 and then we click on login button right now i'm going to give the expect here you see the expect from expect web driver io that we already have it in the web driver IO package so we don't need to install it again so I at best at best what I best login dot email test view here that means I'm going to to call the gesture and that gesture will return for me the file element on the page okay so I expect the login dot email test view here and test to have a test 
dot to have text something like a b c right and we have some option the second parameter some option like trim i want to trim any spaces in the prefix and uh, from the beginning and at the end of the string is two. So you can come back here and you can see something like we have some option. I remember, yeah, here, trim. We have containing, we have a string, we have ignore case here. So in this case, I'm going to do trim. That means the text return from email text field will be trim. Okay. And I expect it to have the test ABC here. So probably it will, will be failed. But try to run it first. And then we will make this thing more elegant. Go to your tag configuration file here and specify just copy, copy paste from the uh, content root. Okay. And you start the FPM server already, and you connect your device to the laptop, uh, to your to your PC, and then trigger the test command and PM test. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry for the noise. Uh, NPM test test configuration, and we run it. You see, the result is TOA. First, we are expecting that's A, B, C here. So that's why the test is fail. And this is the control log for us. This is the, the result that we are expected A, B, C, but we receive the actual result is TOA. So let's try to revert it to TOA. And this will be bad, right? So you see that. We can use, uh, so just let it run. You don't need <laughs> to, to see the screen again. Let, let me explain for you. You see, we can call the, uh, the interaction method from the page object like input email, input password, and click on login button. And you also use that we have some gesture from the page object. Okay, okay. Um, sorry for the noise, <laughs> uh, just a moment. Um, and we also call the gesture from the page object and get the file element from the screen now. And in this case, you can use something from that file element, right? So we have uh, two cases here, but for example, I don't want to call something like express something like this. And that's made our test script like it's very hard to read. So I run something that verify uh, the email uh, test display. I want to have some function like that. That's mean, let me cut this one first. That's mean after I click on the login button and then I will call the verify the verification methods from the page. So let's create it, let's create it from the login page, right? So on the login page, because, because this from the credential form, not the login page. So I'm going to put in the bottom here, the verification methods. Let's see what is the verification methods name here and submit the test this is a verification method name and i'm expecting that the uh, value right and let's try to copy this one 
Now I'm going to call expect here and the expect expect you will be from the value we provide in the test, right? So I expect this dot email test field to have value from the, the test data, right? So now you see why I create some gesture here. So when when you create some gesture, you can use the in many purpose. The first purpose that you can reduce in the main inter, interaction method. The second method that you can reduce in the verification methods here. And now just go back to your test script. You see, it's now av available. So let's see, we have something like login dot input email and input password and click on login button and finally we verify email test displayed you see it's in the test in our more readability for you and we need to have something like toe that means we ver verify email test display with this value try to run again to make sure everything is okay Ah, uh, okay. It's it failed. Let's see what is wrong here. Cannot read properly. Verify email test field of undefined. Oh, yeah. It's very easy to understand here. So we have a uh, clock on login button, and then after that we call here. This login button here return nothing, but after that we we call something like verify email test uh, verify email test display so you know actually it return something like undefined object so an undefined object will will absolutely now you know have no function like verify email test display so that's why we we got this error cannot read properly here so how to fit it Go back here and in this case, let me return return this. Okay, so actually you will return something the destination page, not return this. So if you return the destination page, you can call something like this. Let me show you login page here and you call verify email test display in case after you click on the login button and you return the destination page that is that is okay right so the test is now still readability login input and click and then verify email test display it's very easy to read now run again So the test is now passed. So hopefully you can understand how to use the built-in assertion uh, library from the web driver IO uh, with the aspect function here. We supply the file element for, for on the page and then we call some mature to verify. It's very easy. So you can call, you can come back to the API and you go back for the tech runner aspect here and try to read uh, through all of them. You, you know, you will not do uh, all of them here, but just read through. Is it not too hard for you? And you have some ideas in the future in your project and maybe something purpose and you can use one of them. 
So just keep practicing and keep learning. See you in the next lesson.